Hey, it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Thursday, October 24th. So we do have the moon moving out of her rulership in this cancer energy here today, 48 minutes into the day. And of course, we're going to sit in that void where things are shaky, things are unstable, things are uncertain until 1.25 a.m., again, Eastern Standard Time. At which time we're shifting into Leo energy, the heart, the soul of the Zodiac, where it is that we have to kind of boss up, where we have to get heart aligned and be bold and brave and courageous enough to do the hard things. Now, of course, we're fresh into this Scorpio season where change and transformation is definitely the name of the game. We are in observer mode as of right now and will be up until the new moon in Scorpio. So we are moving into the last quarter moon that are that is definitely going to pop off here today in the very early degrees of this moon in Leo energy. A square is going to be taking place between the sun and the moon. That's what gives us our last quarter moon energy. And the last quarter moon is a time for us to kind of sort things out, if you will. We're reviewing, we're looking back over the last month, again, taking us all the way back to the new moon solar eclipse in that Libra energy that we're still very much under the influence of until the new moon in Scorpio popping off on November 1st, which means that we're starting to see things a little bit more clearly. I've been stating for the last I'm going to say month, month and a half, the further we get away from the eclipse energy, the more details are coming into our awareness. And now that we are heart aligned and we are in this Leo energy operating from our most authentic soul space, we are definitely going to be looking back with a different set of eyes. Again, we're in Scorpio season. Mercury is in Scorpio energy. The detective hat is on. We are piecing together some details that we may have missed. We are unearthing a lot of blockages, a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles in our mental plane and in our heart space. And so this is a time to kind of figure out what needs to stay, what needs to go, what is working, what is not working, what is holding us back, and what can we remove in order to set us free. So we have that going on. We also have eight different aspects popping off here today, seven of them involving the moon. And the one that does not involve the moon is between Mars and Uranus. It's a very positive energy. It is coming at us later in the day here today. Definitely going to put a different mood, different attitude on the plate for us to kind of explore and put us in a situation that is going to bring in some clarity on what it is that we have to do, what it is that we have to pursue. So, you know, the day kind of begins with the moon in cancer energy, directly opposing sitting across from Pluto, the great transformer who is at the 29th degree of Capricorn energy. So obviously, the moon is at 29 degrees, giving us this opposition cancer Capricorn, they sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel. Cancer energy represents the emotional safety and security that we need in our private lives. And Capricorn energy is the safety, security, stability that we need in our finances, in our goals, in our public life, if you will. And so Pluto, of course, the great transformer, he's giving us the last little hurrah to kind of clean sweep the old structures, foundations, aspects of the old world that, again, we're not resonating with, that we have to release, that we have to put behind us. And of course, this opposition, the moon sitting across from Pluto, going to bring up a lot of feels. It's going to be hella intense. Again, Pluto is in his rulership now that we're in Scorpio energy. And the moon being very attached to the past, very connected to what once was and what could have or should have been, we're going to experience the darkness, the funk in order for us to rise up out of that darkness and see where we have the power and control in this present moment to kind of stabilize in our emotional realm, to stabilize in our physical realm by closing the door on particular people, places and things. It is this time, 48 minutes into the day, that the moon is going to go void of course. And again, that's where things get shaky, unstable, uncertain. And we shift into that Leo energy at 1.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And 4.04 a.m., again, Eastern Standard Time, the moon in this Leo energy is going to get into the boxing ring, square off with the sun, now in Scorpio energy. So we get this square because Leo and Scorpio energy are 
bull thick signs. And when we have this square, it's going to illuminate where there are growing pains. And the moon, of course, in Leo energy, looking back, reflecting back on the last month, back on the events, the topics, the themes that have gotten out of whack, that have gotten extreme, especially where relationship dynamics are concerned. Why? Because again, we're still under the influence of that eclipse energy in Libra. Libra energy was tipping the scales in our relationship dynamics to understand where it is that things have to change. The sun shining a bright light in the Scorpio energy is really putting us in the depths of our darkness, in the depths of our intuition to understand the great change, the great transformation that first of all needs to take place within us. Secondary to that, that we can get heart and head aligned to take action and make moves out in the physical realm to again, rectify, reconcile the situation, the circumstance to mirror back to us what it is that we're arriving at in our inner realm. As far as the changes, the transformations need Needed go. The moon in Leo energy going to semi square create a little bit of tension and conflict with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who of course is retrograde in Gemini energy. This is going to illuminate where it is that we're looking back again. Again, retrograde energy, we're refle reflecting back on tough love life lessons on situations and circumstances that didn't make sense to us, on information and knowledge that we thought we had, we thought we knew. However, now looking back at it from the different set of eyes, because we're moving out of this eclipse energy, we're seeing things very differently. We are replaying certain conversations, replaying certain situations and circumstances that unfolded in the way that we did, because we have a different lens. We have a different level of awareness. We have this option and opportunity to now kind of reframe what actually happen and how we actually feel about it. The moon is then going to try and beautiful interaction with the north node in Aries energy. That north node is trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us in alignment with our soul's quest, our soul's mission, our soul's purpose. So this is a trine, meaning that fire on fire energy. Leo is a fixed fire sign. Aries is a cardinal fire sign. Together, there is a little bit of a spark, a little bit of a fire, of a flame, of a new inspiration, a new determination to kind of see the options and opportunities that we have to move on to move forward. But technically speaking, because we're in a closure chapter, the actions in which we are kind of seeing for growth, for healing, for evolving, actually mean closing the door and cutting the cord with aspects of the past. The moon in Leo then going to make a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. And of course, Saturn is retrograde. Again, inner reflection in our inner realm and in Pisces energy. This is everything to do with deconstructing our belief system, deconstructing thing, the visions, the goals, the dreams that the old version of self had basically had built in some cases manifested and whether or not this new version of self is actually in alignment with said things. Now, this is a positive interaction. So there is an organization of our emotions, of our thoughts. We are clearly kind of seeing the system, the structures, the foundations that the old version of self had built, had created that are no longer serving us, that we have the opportunity to destroy, to demolish, to clear the space, to clean the slate, to build something new in the place of the things that are no longer in alignment. And so we are starting to see where it is that we're bossing up. We have the boldness. We have the bravery. We have the courage from this moon in Leo to do the hard things. We can no longer just continue to turn a blind eye. We can no longer continue to put things off. We're coming to a breaking point. We're coming to a completion point where essentially we got to shit or get off the pot. So this is going to help us kind of reframe what we're letting go of, what we're closing the door upon. And what we could do better in the place of the things in which we're currently removing. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener who is retrograde in Taurus energy. Again, Leo energy, Taurus energy. What did they have in common? Well, they're both fixed signs. We have a fixed fire sign and a fixed earth sign. And when you add fire to earth, we burn that earth down. Now, that doesn't sound so happy, so good. However, it's a beautiful thing because Uranus being retrograde in this Taurus energy is illuminating for us the let's call it physical structures, 
the people, places, and things, the routines, the relationships, the structures, the foundations that the old version of self had built, that the new version of self is still holding on to, even though there's no resonance, even though there's no growth, even though there's no hope in hell that we are going to gain anything by keeping these particular structures alive. And so the moon, emotionally speaking, in fire energy, Leo fire energy, this is putting us in the heart, in the soul space to understand where it is that we have to boss up, be bold, be brave, to light that match, to burn those systems and structures down so that we can start seeing a new vision, a new dream, a new reality actually take form. This is going to download us with an aha moment, with an epiphany. Suddenly, we're seeing things very differently. Suddenly, we see what we have to remove, what we have to bring in ending a completion of finality to. Again, with that last quarter moon that we just had pop off early morning, we are in elimination series now from now until the new moon in Scorpio. It's time to kind of dissect what we have to release, what we have to end, what we have to let go of. And of course, we will do all of those things under that new moon energy. The moon in Leo, then going to try beautiful interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure and money in this Sagittarius energy. Again, fire on fire action. What I love about this is that Venus in Sag energy, which is a mutable fire sign, looking for change, looking to experiment, looking to explore with what it is that we could do differently, what it is that we could change, what it is that we could transform in order to create more happiness, more joy, more safety, security, stability in our physical realms. The moon in Leo energy, bold, brave, and courageous to do what we need to do to cut those old pieces out, those old aspects out, those old people out that are preventing us from creating a realm of reality that not only looks good, but that feels good as well. So the last thing that we have going on here today is Mars, the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. In this cancer energy, sex tiling, beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener who is retrograde in the Taurus energy. So here we have Mars, who's not really happy in this cancer energy, making a positive interaction with Uranus that is going to spark new ideas, new solutions, new creativity. And so this is going to give us like a jolt of energy for us to have the ants in our pants to motivate us to get out of this rut, to get out of this funk. We are, because of the Uranian energy, seeing things from the highest form of observer, highest form of intellect, and understanding where it is that we could adopt new methods, new patterns, new behaviors to actually integrate into our present moment and actually create time, energy, and space away from the things that we do not want to connect to and create a new space where new solutions can actually take form. We are kind of being drawn to new ideas, new new solutions, new ways of approaching the same old, same old shit. We want to make progress. We want to make change. And we are kind of hell bent damn well and determined at this point, specifically because of Mars, to kind of let go of the, let's call it not so nice thoughts, not so nice emotions, maybe even grudges, maybe even, you know, particular mindsets that aren't really serving us. This is an opportunity for us to put those emotional baggages down. We're not taking them into this new earth. We're not taking them into our new reality. And so even though we are actively wanting to kind of pursue this new path where new dreams and new visions and new goals can actually kind of manifest, we have to create the space for it by cutting people, places and things out and off. And so this is kind of giving us a totally different perspective, again, acting as the observer on what it is that we're no longer attached to. The air of detachment is helping us to see things a lot more clearly because we're not as emotionally attached to it. Again, acting as the observer, seeing solutions where before we were too emotionally connected to even contemplate said solutions. So this again is kind of feeding off of the moon in Leo, giving us the boldness, bravery, and courage to do all of the hard things.